Hey guys, it is me again. You can probably tell. Today is what Friday, August um, twenty-six. Yep, day two thirty-eight on a project serving more. It is good to be here tonight, guys. Let's try to make this bit a short one, guys. Um, I'm not as late tonight as. I am a lot. It's about 12:30 right now, 12:40 something like that. Uh, so I'm a little earlier than I than I've been known to be, but I got to try to get in the bed early tonight, guys. Uh, I don't know today. My worker, uh, you know, boy that works for us, left to go to lunch at 1:30 or so, uh, and never came back. So uh, I well. We don't know. I mean, it, the the cell phones, some of the cell phones were out today. So we don't know if he got home and something happened. He got sick. And he just couldn't call because I think that's all he's got is a cell phone. I don't know. I don't know if that happened. I don't know if he quit. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't think he'd be quit, you know. Uh, all he does is talk about how much he likes the job and it's the best job he's ever had and this and that and this and that. I don't know, but anyway, what I'm trying to get at, guys, is because I don't know whether he's working tomorrow or not. It means I got to get up early in the morning, and uh, normally on Saturdays. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of Saturdays, because Saturdays are slow anymore. In the last little bit, I've not even been working Saturdays. I mean, I've been going in maybe like the last hour, last half hour, just kind of you know helping them close down because we don't we don't do much on Saturdays anymore. Of course, my luck tomorrow. If he don't show up, it'll be a it'll be a brain buster. But um, I'll give whatever the Lord takes me. You know, it's all from Him anyway. So, um, so anyway, guys, that's why I'm going to try to make this video short. I do thank you guys for being here. Like I said, as always, um, just keep praying for us, guys. Uh, and I know that you will. Anyway, starting tonight in John chapter twelve, verse forty-seven. Here we go. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Jesus is saying, I'm not going to judge you if you, if you reject me and reject me, you know. But Jesus is saying, God the Father will. You know, he's not saying you're not going to be judged. He's just saying... Me, the way I am right now in my human body, I'm not, you know, I'm not here judging right now. I'm, I'm coming to give you the chance. But if you don't, don't accept this chance one day, you're going to be judged by God the Father, which, you know, is Jesus also. You know, I mean, you know, he's uh, him and God the Father are one. So a little bit hard to understand, maybe a little bit, but uh, not too bad. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father. See right here, he's explaining it which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into chapter 13. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, chapter 13, verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world into the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he riseth from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. And after that he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Anyway, guys, it looks like it's where I'm going to quit. I think that, that's around ten verses. Uh, anyway, guys, I do I surely appreciate you being here. We're going to get into some really good stuff tomorrow night. Good Lord willing. 
so uh, anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for being here. I love you guys. If you need anything, as always, let me know. Um, I did want to let you guys know that we did. Well, we supposedly now the the the, the woman called me yesterday the, from the the secretary. She, I mean, she takes care of all that stuff. She's a lot more than a secretary, but uh, she called and said that the ladies fund they did the the ladies fund had enough money in it to pay the power bill at the church. So. Uh, you know, but we kind of had we had to get the permission from the ladies to do it. So I guess they decided to do it and pay the power bill for that. So, uh, you know, I praise the Lord for that. You know, that lets us keep going for another month. We've not paid the mortgage yet, which is still due. It's like four hundred and twenty-five dollars or four thirty-five, something like that. But um, hey, I know the Lord will find a way for that too. So just keep praying about that, guys. And and like I said, keep praying about this stupid lawsuit thing, guys. I'll be honest, I'm. Uh, I don't know. It's it, uh, like I said. I do pretty good, but then I have days that it bothers me. And, uh, it bothers me real bad, and, and I dread it. And uh, you know, I I don't know if I'm going to have to go or not, or just that, or uh, both of us. And and to be honest, I don't I don't even want to be in the same room as this as this guy. I don't. I mean, it's one of them deals. Uh, I guess it shouldn't be like that, but uh, you know, I, I just get so emotional and everything. I don't I don't know if I can be in the same room as this guy. So uh, you know, I'm just I'm dreading that. Um, so just pray for me, guys. To be honest, I'm praying that the that the Lord will, uh, will do something that that'll uh, <laughs> got some kind of bug on my lens that that something will happen, you know, that we that this won't go to court, you know, that this boy I don't know that, that the Lord will convict him, uh, that'll change his mind. Something will happen, and that's what I'm praying for. So guys, pray for that for me too. That this won't even make it to court. That I'll get a letter in the mail saying that it's been whatever. But anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Like I said, I love you guys. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you guys again. Good night. And God bless.